What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of my 10k challenge. I am Maestro Vintage. That sounds really weird. My channel, my Instagram, my handles are Maestro Vintage. I am Mike and today I'm going to show you about how I basically how I photo and store and handle shoes for eBay. So the audio is not as good. I'm sorry, I'm not using headphones and I'm obviously using my camera. So this is on my phone. So first things first, um, as you can see, these are the whiteboards that I picked up. This one's like a couple bucks. This one's like four because it's the trifold deal. Um, these are just inserts that I got out of shoes that I bought that I use sometimes, sometimes I don't. I'm I kind of am adaptable depending on what I'm shooting and how I'm shooting it so I can't give you just a clear cut beginning to end because it changes but for the most part right now we're going to be taking pictures these are some women's Sperry Topsider boat shoes and they're like glittery this is a great time of year to sell boat shoes and these are actually in really good shape you can tell I bought these for $3.99 and if that's a G then they were half off if that's an O, then they were. So, I used to take a lot more photos. Now I don't. Um, and it's just made my process quicker. And I still find it visually appealing. And I haven't had any drawbacks. Like, no questions. I don't get uh, emails asking for different angles. So, today, we'll be shooting with the Canon Rebel. And uh, depending on the color, it, it depends on what kind of lighting I use. I used to pull out the the same umbrella lights everyone uses on on Amazon and I still use those occasionally but for shoes I normally don't. This camera happens to be really good with low light so for some photos especially if it's a lighter shoe or white on white um, I will just do like a no flash setting and the low light setting still picks up it has to do with like the shutter speed I believe but it picks up uh more light and the photos come out really well with middle to darker shoes typically I still just use a flash and I like the way it looks and then if it's an all white shoe I will use my uh my brick backdrop which is basically the cheapest one you can get it's just a a paper backdrop and uh, I took it and I attached it to a couple boxes. So it's basically the same setup as this, only it's like red brick instead of white. So for these shoes, I have already tried. But to show you what I would do is I would start off with like a portrait setting and shoot a three quarter. I turn it on. Three quarter with the flash. And then I would turn the flash off and shoot it again. And then I don't know if you'll be able to see. I would just compare. So this is with no flash. And then wrong way. That's with flash. I like the way this one looks. And you can see a little bit that it's got like this glitter. So I'm going to go with the flash on this pair of shoes. I'll delete the old one. Okay, so I go three quarter one way three quarter the other way, one from front at a bit of an angle. And then this is where I will get kind of an artsy photo and I'll show the back and the insole and the tag. So I'll slide up a little bit and shoot something like that. Then one from the back. And then I used to do the insides on both, but if I'm not showing a flaw or whatever, I don't. This is, now in my thrift stores, you always have one that marks with the price. I'm lazy and I don't want to do the work up front. So why clean this? Because what if this pair of shoes never sell? sell? So I save that for after I pull the item. So this one's marked with the price. It goes down at a three quarter. This one is propped up like that, so you can see the sole, and then you get a photo kind of like that. So, then, 
once I've photographed all the shoes, then they will go over here into a bin with everything listed. And then when this is full, I take it out to the garage. Now, hold on, my garage is a mess, but I'll show you how I store shoes. Now I need to get some more of these, but this, these racks that I pick up, that's what I'm using right now. And they're like $34.99 and they store, they're supposed to store 40 to 50 pairs of shoes. And then more expensive ones, I keep my garage door, I keep my garage clean, I keep the doors shut so these all stay clean. Humidity's not bad, but with higher end shoes, I poly bag them before I put them out here so I don't have any issues. So that's pretty much it. That's how I handle shoes. Uh, in the future, I'll go over that mess once I get it cleaned up. So thanks for watching the video. I hope this helps. And uh, like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. I'll talk to you guys soon.